What is going on everybody? How you guys doing and welcome back. Welcome back to yet again, another episode. Um, guys, I am filming this intro after the fact, after I've edited the video you guys are about to see. I uh, just wanted to let you guys know that. But in this video, I am fishing on my second day on Lake Nipissing. And um, yeah, we find an absolutely awesome bite. It's a ton of fun. Also, at the start of the video, I made a friend on the ice. Um, he was just kind of fishing around me when I caught those first uh, two perch, which you're gonna see. And then um, we actually ended up fishing together at the end of the day as well. So I'm sorry if my uh, focus isn't fully on camera for some of the clips at the start and then towards the end, but that's okay. We still catch a ton of fish. And uh, yeah, let's just start right in the action. All right, guys. First fish of the day. <laughs> Definitely a walleye or, or a big perch. Awesome. The dead stick prevails. Hopefully not a pike. Oh, there's hey. the jumbo. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh. Speak of the devil, eh? <laughs> that's hilarious. That's awesome. That's a good sign. Yeah. Too. I mean, nine, that's. Maybe nine and a half? Yeah, that's what I've been getting a little, little, little longer, but same level of chunkiness. That's just, perfect. That is awesome. Oh, my goodness. Thank that's a. Uh, <laughs> yeah, thanks, man. Thank you. Well, everybody. Sorry uh, you weren't getting my full attention there, but there is fish number one of the day. An absolutely beautiful perch. Not a jumbo. Well, it was a jumbo, but it wasn't wasn't too long and if you guys didn't see i met up with a really nice guy uh had a nice conversation on the ice another one guys another one another one i, th I don't know what it is i know eh <laughs> this feels a little bigger i think so we'll see here number two. Oh no <laughs> oh geez oh my gosh Holy cow! That's the biggest perch I think I've ever caught. You give me hope, sir. <laughs> oh my goodness, that is chunky. Look at that. That might be a 13. I'll get the bump board out for this one. Alrighty, guys. Here we have fish number two of the day. The absolute, an absolute tanker of a perch. I don't know how long it is. So this guy is only, he's only an 11 and three quarter, maybe even 11 and a half incher. But I mean, look how fat this perch is, guys. Just gonna give him a drink in the water and we're gonna get the tripod up and uh, get a good shot of this guy with the big camera before we release him. Fish number two, the bite has started out really hot for these perch. That's for sure. Check out this absolutely monster perch, guys. Are you joking me right now? Fish number two of the day. Look at that huge perch. Oh my goodness. This is a beautiful fish. There he goes, kicked right off. Perfect. Oh my goodness. Guys, we haven't really even like fully set up yet it's only been like 10 minutes and the dead stick rod went off i ran over to it caught that fish and then um like as it was resetting it another one came and hit it just, just it's insane crazy aggressive fish here guys got it fish on fish on guys we moved another huge perch whoa whoa oh my gosh that's a giant guys are you kidding me there's another one down there so i'm just gonna leave this guy in the wet snow he'll be okay I lost my minnow. It fell off when I was dropping back down, but there's another like absolutely gargantuan perch. Holy cow. Yep, yep, got him. Another one. Another another huge perch. Oh, oh, okay. This one is not nearly as big. We need to regroup for a second here. Going to get this little one unhooked. Then we're gonna get a shot and a measure on this giant. Alrighty guys, it's honestly been about an hour since we caught that really nice jumbo. I moved to a little a little further away from the uh, boat launch and here we have another chunky monkey i uh, released a smaller one already so uh yeah that fish is taken care of and anyways let's just see what we're dealing with here lengthwise mouth closed and 11 and a quarter so this one is not even as big as the uh first one we got but it is equally as fat oh my goodness this is just they're like, uh, they're like, look out of proportion. That's hilarious. Just giving this fish a little revival. Long gone. There we go. And um, honestly, I'm just going to grab another minnow. Going to get resituated. And hopefully there's a school or the school is still down there. Because that was a ton of fun. The dead stick just went off, guys. Oh, it dropped it, I think. Whatever had the dead stick just dropped it. Shoot. Should have been quicker, but 
there's absolutely a fish around on the dead stick hole. Here we go, guys. I was just gonna move the transducer over to this hole, and we got a fish on this hole. Got it. Whatever it is, I got it. I was literally just gonna bring the transducer over to see, like, hey, like, what the heck is hitting me on this hole? Will I be able to mark it? And, uh, well, we just exposed what the heck was hitting me on this hole. Another absolute chunky monkey nipissing jumbo perch. Holy smokes. This is just insanity. Like, that's three fish in about five minutes. Look how fat these perch are. Oh my goodness. I came here thinking it was going to be a walleye video again, but it honestly might not be. <laughs> I gotta say, let's uh, just drop the graph down here out of curiosity, just because maybe this is an even better hole than the one we're jigging at, although they're pretty close together, so I doubt it. Ah, this one's 13.1 feet versus 12.8 feet, so maybe they're a little deeper. I just went to check on the dead stick, guys. And, oh, I thought a fish had it. A fish doesn't have it, but there's a huge fish all over it. Holy smokes. It hit it, it hit it. What is this? This fish must have just been sitting on it. You guys see? I'm shocked they haven't taken it yet. Just gonna let it sit again. I'm gonna go grab my smaller minnow. Here we go, smaller minnow. Oh, I had him, I had him. I have him still. Oh, he's so small. <laughs> I got him again, I got him again. What the heck did I just catch? You gotta be kidding me. I just caught a rainbow smelt. Oh my gosh, that is exactly what this is. This is a rainbow smelt. Never in my life have I ever caught a rainbow smelt before. I gotta take a photo of this fish really quick. There's more down there. I mean, I don't know if they're all smelt. Rainbow smelt. You have got to be kidding me right now. Send him on home. Buddy, wrong way. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> he needed an extra poke. That is crazy. Oh my gosh. Well, guys, um, there is more fish down here as well. But um, I guess we figured out what the heck that fish was that was sitting around here. A rainbow smelt, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. I've never caught a smelt before. But uh, <laughs> the Lake Nipissing multi-species action begins. That's two species now on the day. Um, geez, okay. Honestly, I'm just gonna reset the dead stick rod here, go back to my jigging hole and just get everything reset up. But uh, yeah, I don't see any more. That's cool. No way. As I was resetting, as I was resetting, what the heck do we have here? Huge fish, guys. Huge fish. No! No, 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 no. As I was resetting, guys, something huge, something huge hit my lure on the bottom. Like, it hit it right off the bottom, too. I, I literally had it sitting on the bottom just because I uh, was um, trying to uh, grab another minnow for my jigging rod. And was that a burbot? Like, could that have been a burbot, guys? Am I crazy for thinking that? Because I know they're pretty plentiful in this lake. And it literally came up on the bottom. I saw it eat it. I saw my rod bounce. And then it was game on. Oh, man, I can't believe we lost it. <laughs> Rainbow smelt just released that thing. And then, wow. Huge mark picked it up again, guys. Got it. Got it. Got it this time. That huge mark came back. Picked it up again. Come on, transducer. Get the heck out of the hole, buddy. I need you out of the hole. What is this? Right on bottom, it hit. It's got to be a burbot. I really want to know what this is. I'm praying. I'm praying we can land it. Super swirly at the hole. It's a walleye. The huge walleye. The huge walleye. Dude, get your head through. Get your head through. Oh, it's cut on the deucer! No! Oh my gosh! Holy smoking rockets, guys! He just came on button. Not a burbot. <laughs> oh my goodness, this has got to be like a 21, 22 incher. Not huge. Kind of got a little carried away there, but definitely my biggest nipissing walleye ever. Look at that fish. Alrighty, guys. Just grabbed the bigger camera here. Look at this walleye. It is posing absolutely perfectly for us. 
unreal. What a great fight this guy put up. Species number three of the day. We have ourselves as well a 16 and about a 16 and a half incher. Just very thick. He's not huge, obviously, but uh, there he goes. There's fish still on the bottom. This is literally my dead stick hole. I honestly might start jigging this hole and switch, if you know what I mean. So the dead stick hole is gonna be the one we were previously at just because there are so many fish. I couldn't even set up the dead stick without getting hit. Another fish, huge fish, huge fish. Just drop the minnow down. This is huge. No, no, he's still here. There's like huge fish down here, guys. Still there, I'm putting, I'm gonna drop down the jig head. Got it, guys, got it. Feels pretty big too. Oh, oh, holy cow. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I thought this was another, another walleye. That's the biggest perch I think I've ever caught in my life. Holy cow. Are you kidding me right now? What's the length on this guy? Okay, calm down, bud. Okay, so he is, wow. He's not even lying flat for us and he's a 12 and a quarter. More like a 12. Guys, I don't even know what to say right now. I am like, honestly speechless. Look at the size of this jumbo. It's um, only a 12 inch or maybe like a 12 and a, and a third. But um, it is so fat. Like, are you kidding me right now? I'm not even joking. This is probably like one of the heaviest perch I've ever caught. He wants to go, so we're gonna let him go. I mean, yeah, you guys saw me miss that fish. I was using um, initially the Berkeley Forgeman, I'll show you right now. And this is a good bait, but the problem is the hook is like very small. And I personally dislike treble hooks um, just because I feel like I just miss too many fish with them, especially small ones. So anyways, I dropped down our jig head tip with the minnow and I was hoping that we might actually be able to connect with them properly and not too long in we did huge mark just stole my minnow I dropped the rattleback down to be quick oh I thought I hit it got him fish on rattlebait fish this is huge this fish is huge Oh, my drag's not working. My drag system's not working. He's all wrapped up in the transducer as well. Disaster? Yes. Is it off? No, it's still on. It's still on. Oh, not very big. It's a walleye, though. Oh my goodness. I thought I lost it there with the transducer. Oh my goodness, guys. Well, here we have another freaking walleye. Number two of the day for us. Most of the time I'd be freaking out over a wall like this, but in all reality, after the one we caught earlier, it's not even that uh, that crazy. Sending him on home. There he goes. Oh man, guys, literally dropped down a minnow. It got stole right away by that fish, and I dropped the rattlebite down just because, honestly, I needed to be quick. I didn't have time to put another minnow. I didn't want that fish to spook off, and heck yes, guys. Guys, I think we have a fish. Yep, we do. We've got a fish on the dead stick. Fish on. Here we go. A little dinker perch. It's been a while. It's been a major lull since I think you guys last saw the walleye, right? That medium-sized walleye. Yeah, this is our first fish literally in like an hour. So it's been slow. I switched um, to making this heavier rod my dead stick rod, and I'm jigging with the ultralight rod with a jig head just because, I don't know, Seems like I was catching most of the fish on the on the jig head. And anyways, we got our minnow back. Smallest perch of the day. Still a nice one though, I can't really complain. You okay, bud? You good? There he goes. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, sorry for not giving you guys a little update in between here, but honestly, yeah, after that wall, I just got ice cold. No marks, no activity. Um, yeah, it was good to see the rod tip over there for a sec. Big mark, guys. Not sure what this is. Nice fish. Nice walleye. Nice walleye. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Been a little while, but uh, yeah, that's a beauty right there. There you go. No complaints. Just came in and crushed it out of nowhere. 
Yeah, that's a nice fish. That's a nice fish. It's coming. Oh, got it. <laughs> Slackline me. <laughs> this does not feel... Oh, now it's fighting. Another jumbo. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> wow, that fish literally slacklined me. <laughs> Hit so hard. A few more down there. Maybe we're going through a school, hopefully. I don't know if this is a perch or a pike or something. Oh, my hands are numb. <laughs> this is definitely a bigger fish. I think this is a pike. Yeah. Oh, never mind. Stop fighting a bit. It shrunk a bit, but still feels nice. Oh, it's up. Oh, jeez. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's a huge walleye. Beauty. It's got a like a trim dorsal too. Oh yeah? Yeah, look at that. I think they do that on this lake. I'm not 100% sure, but anyways. There he goes. It's pulling pretty hard. Looks good. Yeah. Feels like a finicky. Oh, drag. Nope. <laughs> Can we pull your juicer? Uh, you know what? No, it's all right. Oh, this but... is a little dinker for sure. Oh, not that bad actually. No. <laughs> wow, no complaints there. He just was not fighting hard at all. There we go. Yeah. Nice keeper. perch. Yeah, keeper for sure. Great keep in size. That's awesome. Well, everybody, that absolutely beautiful fish. That is going to be the last fish you guys see in the video. Um, we actually fished until dark and uh, we caught a bunch more walleyes and a few more perch, but unfortunately the camera was dead. Uh, you guys didn't really miss anything crazy though because um yeah like all the really nice fish were caught on camera which is perfect and um no yeah guys many more videos to come i'm actually home now i'm back from the trip that i was on fishing lake nipissing so there's a lot more stuff coming so stay tuned and i uh, really hope you guys enjoy this walleye perch video